Hello everyone, welcome to Knock Knock episode 12. Woo! Yay! So today is a marathon's number 12th day. And we are very exhausted again. Woo! Alright, so these are the notes that I took today. So we talk about very interesting things. Um, for example, we talk about two artists and they were very um, interesting the way um, they talk about art. Or they create art. So the first one is Brian Jungen. He's really awesome. You should look into him. And the second artist was let me find her somewhere here Judy Pfeff <laughs> I'm not too sure how to pronounce her name yes but that's yeah so these these are the notes that I took um, about their art so they're so cool so I highly recommend that you um, look them up and with my notes I tried to create like a scene together so there's like two alligators, they're detectives, and they're drinking wine. And something's happening on this side. So they're both looking at it that way. So anyway, today is the 12th day. And we were required to make a totem pole. Yeah. Woo! So yeah, so that was very challenging. So this is Noriko. Hello, Hello. Noriko. So this is the um, totem pole that she's creating. Just awesome. So this is her structure. Very cool. So in the marathon, we're learning to draw in space. So not just on like 2D, like flat image, but rather going above and beyond and utilizing space and create, creating artwork. Right. So could you talk about your, um, what you're doing right now? Yeah. Like your process? Uh -huh. uh, this is my totem pole. Um, uh, and also it has to be represent uh, part of my life. And then I have a tendency to dry all of my body. Then mm -hmm. I just uh, depicted the uh, sun dune. Mm. And then it's going to up. And then there's a kind of uh, moisture, mm. uh, you know, kind of like water. And then waterfall and a storm over here. Oh, that's so cool. Kind of like a duality. Mm. <laughs> dryness and uh, what is that wetness or something yeah so I just uh, depicted uh, my uh, health uh, ah. going to be uh, what is that developed mm. uh, yeah but, uh, seven years ago I was so dry and then mm -hmm. so hard uh, oh no then uh, when I uh, started the, um, exercises mm -hmm. Yeah, it's helped a lot, and then mm -hmm. I became more, more like a paradise. Yeah, more like a paradise. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. My topic. Mm. Yeah. So I was talking to Noriko um, before, and then she was telling me how she wants to depict about her exercises, as she has mentioned. And it's really um, quirky how she incorporates like a desert on the bottom, and as you go up, there's like the water and like paradise, like. Yeah. So it's about how. Um, there's she feels really dry, but then after after exercising, it's like paradise. Yes. And it makes everything like so like harmonious. full of life, yeah. harmonious. There you go. Right. Awesome. So I noticed that um you talked to Basus after the class. Mm -hmm. So um what did you talk about with her? And oh yeah yeah, yeah. um I'm uh I really um uh, tired of uh -huh. you know representation representational uh, uh -huh. depiction of my work mm. and then I really like to find a way mm -hmm. of other than kind of you know meticulous kind of detail yeah. painting and then she just uh, um, you know um, mm, give me direction mm. uh, how I can go far Mm. away from the mm -hmm. uh, realistic depiction. So mm. several ideas she just uh, gave me yeah. and I was so happy. Mm. Yeah, she's really, really, really helpful. Yeah, and what's the professor's name? Lim Rim Basus. Basus. Basus, yeah. Yes. So she was, it was awesome talking to her after class. Yeah, she's mm. also in a charm. So, yeah. yeah. She's very so, insightful. 
and sophisticated. Sophisticated. <laughs> very sophisticated. Yeah. So, so today at the lecture, um, she was talking about how she, oh, uh, she's very clumsy, mm -hmm. and she falls down at the uh, all the time. So um, I thought that was really funny. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I noticed that Noriko was talking to um, Rainbow Suze at the end. And then after she left, um, Noriko was like, that was amazing! <laughs> and then yeah, she, and she was so happy. <laughs> okay, so moving on. So I'm going to show you my work that I'm doing. So uh, this is my totem pole. So when you first say it's like, what the hell is this? So <laughs> it's, it's a work in progress. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yesterday I noticed that in my um, 11th episode, I had like a charcoal in my nose. It was all black. That was kind of embarrassing. So I tried to wipe it off today. Um, so anyway, this is my work that I'm doing. So I'm doing like a cutout of the paper. So this is like the stuff that I'm experimenting with. So like, you know, how to cut out a paper to create design. And I'm laying, layering that and creating like shadow. So I'm kind of working with that. Um, it kind of looks like crap <laughs> right now, <laughs> but it's, it's getting there. I'm working with a lot of like circular shapes to um, create like this organic feel, and I want to create some kind of uh, almost like a cocoon, like a like a live like zerg, like rawr. <laughs> and Thomas was looking at this work, and he was like, "Oh, cocoon! Uh, you must have like really nice butterfly." And I was like, "No!" And I made a <laughs> and I made a monster sound like rawr. And he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is the piece I'm working on. I'm planning to add like eggs. And this is a rice cooker. And it makes a special sound. It's like, ding. So that's awesome. Yes, so I'm still working on it. Yeah. So now we're going to go see what Thomas is up to. His, this is like 40 minutes after the class ended. And he is still working hard. So this is Mr. Thomas. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Thomas. Hello, Mr. Knock Knock. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, what are you doing? <laughs> I am gessoing. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of crannies to uh, gesso. So. What do you mean by crannies to gesso? Oh, nooks and crannies, like corners, oh. and, like hard to reach areas. Mm. And what are these music notes that you're adding? Um, it's sheet music. Um, sheet music, yeah. My days in band. Uh huh. And what instrument did you play? I played the tuba. I would have never guessed that. Tuba. <laughs> can, can you can you imagine a gigantic tuba on Thomas? Okay. Anyway, very cool. Anything else? <laughs> oh um, well my totem pole is yeah. um, maybe a little bit different, as in that it's not purely like a. Um, self-portrait but it describes the point in time in my life so mm -hmm. that I find it's very important to me so and this is me talking about that mm. so. very cool Still self yeah so this is like a quick view of what people are doing so this is Mr. Kinney's he was specially featured on episode 11 this is Alex, the laser guy, also, and this is Kalo's piece. I call it the Narnia because of the wood. This is like a, it's like wood. And there's like snow on the top, so I was like, oh, it looks like Narnia. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Aslan. <laughs> and yeah, so we have like bunch of stuff everywhere. And this is Dan. He was um drawing the models. Pretty gnarly. This is Sarah. She was like shaving a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, she was shaving this. That's so cool. Awesome. And that is Andrew. And yeah, so we are everywhere. And today was very fun. It was pretty insightful. Right? Yeah. 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 So that's pretty much it for day 12, episode 12. Um, it was very enlightening. We're super exhausted. But I think we're slowly finding our way into being an artist, I guess. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for episode 12, and thank you for tuning in.